wait a minute, did I just pull, did I just pull like the perfect character to be duo with Ninja? Really? Oh, oh, well, pod. Welcome, 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 well, pod. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Dot Microtransactions channel, and we're gonna have some fun tonight. Well, pod, welcome back. So Ninja is in the game and he's actually quite good and we're going to talk about him. But before we get into him, what we need to mention here real quick is that I want to mention for the people that didn't know, because I found out there's a good amount of people that didn't know this already, that you don't want to do your purchasing in Plarium PC. If you do your purchasing through Plarium PC, you don't get anything for that. Whereas if you do it through an emulator, any Google emulator at all, and for instance, I have one in the description link you can use. This is the one that's 100% legal. You can go to the Play Store and all this is is an Android emulator for the Play Store. When you make your purchases, instead you get points and you can actually earn these points and then we tell you get bonus points for spending money on this or that or whatever. But you get no matter where you spend your money, you get points. Points. So if you're playing a different game, you see how I have 1,285 points? Well, I haven't spent $1,285 in Raid. I am free to play. But what I do do is come here every week and you get win something every week. And you can claim every Friday, you get free points. You can get up to 500 points. So there's 10 points for free this week. And eventually you can take those points and use them to purchase different things in different games. For instance, if you're playing Raid Shadow Legends, check this out. You can get a chicken, 200 energy for the XP brews or up to 700 energy just for points that you are going to get for free every Friday or in addition that you can get points for spending money in the games and sometimes they have an 8x bonus which is you spend one dollar you get eight points so you can get your money back in that in that aspect so that's just a quick tip for the people that didn't know you definitely want to uh, download raid on a blue stacks emulator or really any emulator but this is the one that I recommend and I have a link to it and then uh, obviously it's got things like the build in auto clicker etc but today we need to talk about ninja Ninja. So at the moment, Ninja's getting quite a bit of love in the community. It seems that people are able to slide them into most things they're doing. It seems like Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss is a little bit better than we originally anticipated. And I say we lightly. I really just mean I, I thought he was going to be good, not great. But it seems like he actually uh, might be borderline great, to be honest with you. I'm just kind of putting some random gear on him at the moment so we can go give him a ch uh, chance here. I don't really have that great a gear, if I'm uh, being honest with you guys at the moment i've tried to farm it but it just hasn't really it hasn't really shown up if you know what i mean like it, it just doesn't really seem like it's there yet i'm just gonna put this random bits of bits and pieces on him this is gonna have to do for now he's gonna have to be improved the other problem is i really want to get the cooldown for hellburn seems like hellburn is a very good move and in order to do that we need legendary books well i mean where are we going to get legendary books you can see i've been saving epic and rare books but i don't think i have an epic that i really want to book yet we could argue booking the hippo for the cooldown of the revive and the revive could get us somewhere but i just don't think that's why i want to do with books yet the other thing we could do is potentially try to get the charge skill but it is two random allies and we need to ascend them so i'm not 100 sure about that either if we look here at the energy we have we have 220 energy and we look at our resources we got two energies stacked up here from the free appreciation packs if we go to the actual events itself and take a look we are also limited because the champion training is here and we got greater arcane potions but if we want the Ancient Shards, we need to do a lot more champion training. And we are what is essentially completely strapped from resources. You can see our brews are pretty low. This is pretty low. We do have gems. We've been somewhat responsible with our gems as of late. And it is a 2x chance for a sacred. I don't have any 2x's currently available. Any sacreds available for that. We could try 3-starring Brudo. Maybe that would help us get through it. Maybe if we put in both Ninja as well as Gala and try three starring some of the campaign, we can see if we can go any farther. This is where we got stuck last time, but it seems like people are keeping it alive well enough. The Veil is going to be interesting because hopefully that Veil 
keeps him alive is he's going to be the more squishy one while we have a six star Gaelic. So 13,000 experience. That is much better experience for the two of them. And I'm just going to continue going because there's a lot of rewards we can use too. The other thing is you're probably wondering how we're doing on the AC. Man, he does, he, he does actually hit. This might be a pretty good character. You might be wondering how I'm doing on the Arbiter missions. I am working towards them. However, yes, I've been continually getting bottlenecked. Also debating booking Gaelic. I mean, he doesn't get any cooldowns, but I'm almost debating just for the damage it's set. That's probably a dumb choice. I should probably finish booking War Maiden and then Coffin Smasher and people like that. But it's, I feel like I'm using Gaelic so much. So yeah, I mean, we still need Necklace too. We have a lot of things we need and we have very limited energy. So I was debating going, and you can let me know, uh, you know if I should or not do this. I, I don't know if you guys care at this point or not, but I was debating going into my blue stacks here with the play store and if you look what i want to show you is we go to play pass points and you go to use you scroll down to raid shadow legends and again if you want these free points you can get free points every friday and today's friday and i'll have the link in the description you can just download through there it also supports the channel too so thank you but i can go and i can add myself 700 energy which would give us Oh, maybe another million or two silver or something. It won't be crazy. I could get, you know, maybe actually 1,400 energy. Because you see these points? I've been spending money on Marvel, which is where I got them. Also, this might be a stretch, but I'm thinking about starting a free-to-play series on the main channel here of Marvel, which could be kind of fun. Like a uh, maybe twice a week type of thing where I do basically what I'm doing on the raid account here. Where I go through and I show you guys this series. It looks like I only uh, one-starred that one. But I do a daily free-to-play, no money spent on the game, so you guys can have that series to watch and enjoy until the game actually comes out, which is looking like it's leaked and might come out next month maybe September at the very latest. So we're gonna be having a new big MMO for mobile coming out pretty soon. And then there's the new world for PC and it looks like console that's gonna be out too. I'm not probably gonna be doing much content on that. I think the game's fun. It looks like I'm actually gonna enjoy it quite a bit, um, but I don't I don't think it's too much in vain to this channel. I try to stick to mobile games mostly on this channel. But I've really, really, really been enjoying Marvel. I'm a huge well on it on my main account. I was thinking about starting a new account for free to play for content for this channel. So let me know if you're interested in that. Hey, look, we get three ancient shards, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you wait for them. This is it, this is it. We're gonna get an epic now, right? All right, come on now. Please, please, you have no idea how important it is right now that we get something good. Okay, so that is Arcanist, who is not really anything I care about uh, even remotely, I think, right? Yep, continuous buff on all allies, great. All right, uh, please, one time, no, please, we need something better. Please, please, please. Uh, okay, all right. Wyvern Bane, Wyvern Bane. Pretty garbage. And are we out of silver? We are out of silver. Lovely. Okay, maybe there's a challenge that'll give us silver here. Lovely, here we go. Okay, one time, no whammies. For the love of God, you can do it. Give me a legend. I'm so overdue. Good luck on this account. There it is. No way. <laughs> it's ultimate Gaelic, so wait. Isn't he the, uh, he's gonna do lots of HP burns. So look at this, attacks all enemies. Each hit has a 50% chance of placing HP burn if he's under an increased attack, which Lannicus has. Each hit has a chance of decreasing term year by 20% if they're under an HP burn, which they will be because of Ninja. So now we have, wait a minute. Did I just pull, did I just pull like the perfect character to be duo with Ninja? Really? Oh, this is going to be great. Chance to place an HP burn if he's under increased attack. All right, this is going to be, this is going to be great. I actually think this is a pretty good pull. Just decreases term year 25% if the attack is critical. Decreases by 10% if it's not critical. So we just need to put crit rate on him. His passive fully heals his champion and removes any stun whenever anyone stuns him. I love it. I love it. Ultimate Gaelic to the rescue, boys. Look at that. He, the, uh, he was the old Amazon Prime reward, which is why he's all purple and everything. I'm actually kind of excited by that one, to be honest. I mean, that, I think that that's like a big deal. Like, really, I think pulling the HP burn, because now we have a lot of HP burn related stuff, and then we have Lannicus, which is the increased tack up for it, which is literally perfect for the way that Ultimate Gaelic works. This account is really coming together, like, piece by piece by piece. 
clear stage five of the dragon hire. Okay, so I can do that. And then stage seven of the sewers we already did. And then lesser magic potions will become available in exactly, let's see here, about six and a half hours I can do that one. So we're locked out for another six and a half hours, but I'm gonna go farm the white potions so that when the blue ones come available, I can max out Ninja, Gaelic, and maybe Lannicus's affinities all in one go. And if there's anything less left, it'll go on War Mother. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see that free to play series of Marvel. I love y'all, thanks for watching this one. And let me know what you think of the Ultimate Gaelic pickup because I think that that's actually kind of a big deal to be honest. That'll be the next episode, working on Ultimate Gaelic. Love you, I'll see you in the next video.